Hello and welcome to Hockey Classics. This week we have for you a clash between New Zealand and Korea in the World Cup qualifiers at Changzhou in China. The Kiwis defeated England and Korea beat Pakistan in their last match to face off in the final. With the World Cup places already secured, they are playing to be the champions of the tournament. Let's join the match action. All in readiness then, the umpires just checking with the goalkeepers. 70 minutes. New Zealand get us underway in the final of the BDO Men's World Cup qualifier. Long toss over the top from Hayden Shaw. Expect to see a fair bit of that today. Shea McAleese for New Zealand. You inside to Sio. Blair Hopping playing in the centre of midfield again today. Bradley Shaw, younger brother of Hayden Shaw. First time that he has consistently had a place on the starting 11 in a major tournament for New Zealand. It's hard to live in the shadow of a big brother who's as <laughs> powerful as Hayden Shaw. Here he but is again. But he really played a very good tournament so far. And also I think during this tournament, uh, Kevin Towns, coach of New Zealand, changed a couple of times. He sent the midfield, Archibald and Hopkins, and I think he did the right thing to put Hopping there again. For me, Hopping is more a player who has to play in the centre midfield and Archibald is more an attacking midfield player and with role on the right side, he shows better off for the New Zealand team. Then Cousins to Hayden Shaw, Shane McAleese, Seung Lee for Korea. Back to Jong Jang. Sio once again. This is Kang. Chong Jung Kang. Long left hand, the dribble works his way into the circle. Can't get past Bradley Shaw. Darren Smith. Bevan Hari now. Child is, well, was relatively free on the right. They've turned it over. Chance for Korea. Through Lee. Hong finds. Yo, Wun Yo. Oh, deflected by Jong Sio and fantastic diving save in goal for New Zealand by Paul Walford. The big man got down low very quickly. Great chance though, you'll see the replay here. Good work by Walford. Sung Hong gets himself into trouble. Bevan Hari. Hopping Collier Ball made good position. Ball, yeah. Has to be. Stevenson, fabulous piece of work off the Korean turnover. Lloyd Stevenson finishes it. New Zealand a goal up 17 minutes into the first half. Hopping spotted Collier who'd made good position and the Korean defence really has to do a bit of thinking about that. The marking was as loose as you could get. Yeah, but maybe the problem was not the marking, the problem was the one who lose position. He just gave away the ball so easily to the New Zealand guy, so it's very difficult then to reorganise your defence because everybody is thinking that moment you get possession, you want to start your own attack and immediately they lose position again and that's very very difficult moment Not these are most of the time the decisive moments in a game Jang, nice interception only as far though as McAleese goes back to Hayden Shaw Archibald stick shield penalised and Archibald stays down so play will be held up. Just took a knock to the face. There's some blood there, so he's going to have to come off. I think that was more when he landed than anything else. No great damage there. Oh, yes, right there. Wore the stick of Wun Yo, the Korean captain. He's just opened up a cut 
one on the nose and one above the eye by the look of it and there's, there's blood from one on the other Ryan Archibald not too much damage done we hope the captain comes to the sideline Jung Lee back to Jong Jang Sung Hong sweeps it forward, looking for and finding Kyung Kim. Corner ball. Sung Kim, one of the young brigade in this Korean lineup. Showed dispossessed, hopping, edges it out. Collier puts it forward, not far though. Only as far as Kim once more, and Korea turn it over. Burrow's child, can he finish? Oh, can he finish? And he does. He certainly can finish. Simon Child gets his fifth goal of this tournament. Beautiful set by Burrows as well. Yeah, Phil Burrows did all the hard work. Child had to finish it though as the goalkeeper came out to him. And he put it under the goalkeeper's right arm. Well finished. Yeah, lovely finish. Day O. Wins the free hit, just short of the baseline. Another free hit off the foot, just outside the circle. All players must be five metres away from this once it's inside that dotted circle. Straight at the goal, off a New Zealand stick, corner ball. Sometimes it's very difficult to see the umpires, but this time it was very clear. No Korean touch. Chance here. Straight at the New Zealand player by Kyung Kim. Another corner on the other side. Kim again. And penalty corner this time. They found the foot of Blair Hopping. First penalty corner of the game. And Korea are dangerous from these. They've scored four through Jong Jang. Who no doubt will come up to take this one. The number 25 for Korea. Dong Jang finds the pad of the goalkeeper, Philip Burrow, um, Paul Woodford, I should say. Good trap by Cousins. Archibald hopping. Bryce Collins. Shane McAleese back to Collins. Sets himself a task. Stevenson in there to help out. Still Collins just... <laughs> <laughs> like dueling banjos down there. Now he gets another one. Flat stick. <laughs> Yuen Hong and eventually Ernst gives away and a free hit. Yeah. <laughs> and probably they will go back to the corner. Yeah, there they go. Chance for the Korea to come out. Perhaps time for one more goal chance or a penalty corner. Stick above the shoulder. Can't do that. Bevan Hari. Ooh. Oh, 
Stevenson was there and had his stick check. Lloyd Stevenson on the pass in from Bryce Collins. There was a call from the back because of the time elapsing from Dean Cousins who just screamed, get it in the circle. Collins looked up, put it into Stevenson who wore a stick check and as a result has been told, you earned it son, you go and take the penalty stroke. Puts it away, 3-0 New Zealand. Yeah, to be honest, I was hoping a little bit that the Koreans could fight back in the second half of this game. But after this halftime result, I don't believe in Korea anymore at all. Second half underway. Korea trailing New Zealand by three goals to nil. And a power of work to do. Not impossible to get back into it, but you would think a very, very difficult task. Roland? Yeah, especially if you look at the way they played the first half. They didn't create any real chance except for one, which one was very well saved by uh, Paul Woolford. And the three penalty corners. But... That was all we created in the first 35 minutes and only when they were really quickly in creating chances and not conceding a goal of course they have maybe a small chance to change this game. Devon Hari penalised for the dangerous flick. Come by Hahn who didn't play at all in the first half. A veteran of their Sydney Olympic campaign, the silver medal. <laughs> Loud whistle from Christian Blush. Umpiring this final with Andy Mayer. Christian Blush from Germany, Andy Mayer from Scotland. Long toss out by Dean Cousins. Jong Jang, dangerous ball. Bevan Hari. Yep, again, a turnover moment. They're just losing possession easily in their own 25 yard area. That's asking for a lot of trouble, which they did in the first half twice. Off the foot of a Korean player. Three hits in New Zealand, just outside the circle. Danger time here for Korea. Big Hayden Shaw comes up to take the slap hit. Crowded circle, slipped through. Shot came from Hari. And the goalkeeper, Dong Sik Ko, just got the kicker on it. Korea ease it out. Earn the free hit, come out of defence. Taken quickly. Clash of bodies between Day O and James Nation. Yeah. James Nation, yeah, who uh, also didn't play any of the first half. Here's the Kiwi bench, Lloyd Stevenson, looking at the camera. Man who scored two of their three goals. Simon Child got the other. Yeah, it's good for Phil Burrows that he is assisted by those players who also can score goals. I think the last couple of years they really relied a lot of on, on, on the goal scoring of Burrows and now they have other players as well. That's a very good thing for the development of this team. Kim. Kyung Kim. Archibald got the stick on it. Now you just over hit the reverse sweep. Yongbei Kim, Wun Yo, Kyung Kim, Yo once again, works his way into the circle, gets the shot on goal, brings the save from Kyle Pontifex. Didn't 
fair bit of space to get into the circle. Pontifex had it covered. A real great opportunity. Ball. Good stick defense. shield by Yun Hong. Used his stick to ward off the tackle. Hopping. Couldn't control it. Korean ball at the side. There's you once again. Sure. The child. Simon Child just pits the ball away. Gives up the 10 meter advance. Dong Jang to Kyung Kim. Takes on Bevan Hari. Wins the free hit. Little poke tackle by Bevan Hari. Kim working for the penalty corner. Swept away by Bradley Shaw. Bryce Collins, good ball through. Stevenson on the run, the goalkeeper saw the danger, Dong Sik Ko. Very experienced goalkeeper, he's there for many years already. Kyung Kim, had some help with the push in the back from Lloyd Stevenson. He's got two goals, now he's going to have a card to go with them. Just a green card for now. That doesn't mean too much a green card. Until you get your second one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Just under 15 minutes remaining. Good trap again by Bradley Shaw. He's played a good game back there today, Bradley Shaw. He plays very well. Yeah. He's reading the danger every time. Kim, again Bradley Shaw, unfortunate disposal, just lifted it up, concedes the penalty corner. Kim the push out. Beautifully taken by Kang, brings it back to 3-1, Seong Kang gets his first. Good goal, 30 minutes remaining, so. I think the Koreans will try to do everything to come even closer than this 3-1. And that means for us a very nice game to watch, open game, and also chances for New Zealand. Beautiful drag flick just inside the post, as you saw on the replay. Oh, New Zealand, Simon Child, and again the goalkeeper. Ko did a fantastic job, and that one stung a little bit. Dong Sik Ko. That really was a good chance again, but also because a very poor build-up from the Koreans, who just gave the ball away in the center of the field, close to the 25-yard line to New Zealand. And that really helps to create chances for you. Zealand's free hit coming out of defence. No, it's clear. Just three minutes to play. Two goals up. New Zealand, the winner of this tournament. Well, they're going to the World Cup. They've got a trophy to take with them. And uh, their next aim, of course, is to get back into the Champions Trophy as quickly as they can. 
Yeah, they just dropped out last. After Lahore. After Lahore, in the game six. Bunyo. Tries to do it as quickly as he can. Over the top is the fastest way forward. Kang. Smith holds them up. That'll please Darren Smith. Free hit to be taken again. It's been quite dark here and quite cool, I might add. Archibald happy just to push it out into open territory. Yeah, now it's just a matter of not conceding a goal anymore. It's the most important thing, and it will not happen, I think. They're just working on time killing New Zealand. Kim. Six round tackle by Burrows, concedes the corner. Well, New Zealand can be well pleased with their performance through this tournament, as can Korea. Yeah, and I must say, especially in the last two matches, uh, when the pressure was off the New Zealand team, they really play well. Against England, first half was really beautiful. Also today, in this match, they played some good hockey. And this team has the opportunity to come back into the top six in the world. Well, they beat England 3-1 in their semi-final. Korea beat Pakistan 2-1. Ryan Archibald. 30 seconds remaining. Bevan Hari sprints forward. He wants to make it 4-1. Archibald says, let's just consider this. Take our time. Still Archibald. Ball on a string. Takes it to the baseline. Puts it back to Hari. On the reverse. Hello. <laughs> let's make it 4-1. <laughs> <Bevanhari>. At the death. <laughs> Four goals to one to New Zealand. There won't even be time for the rest.